Welcome to day one of Shiv Baba Yadhe, Remembrance of Shiv Baba, a creative meditation. Today we will focus on Sada Shiva. Sada Shiva is always Videhi, bodiless. Baba is Sada Shiva. Sada means always constant, and it differentiates the Supreme Soul from souls and nature. Sada Shiva is the embodiment of complete benevolence, spiritual reality, and infinity. Sada Shiva is beyond, 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 beyond human. In order to communicate this aspect of Sada, we need symbols. And looking for symbols, we would normally turn to nature to explain the subtle aspect of something like Sada. But all things in nature are bound by natural laws. Nature goes through its own cycle of change and so is inherently unsuitable to express the idea of Sada. Nevertheless, certain qualities in nature are useful to explain this subtle aspect of Sada. So, for example, Sadashiva is completely benevolent and altruistic like the pole star, constantly guiding us in the direction of spiritual aspiration and fulfillment. Sadashiva remains constant while everyone and everything changes. Sada Shiva is beyond birth and death. It is said that Shiva lived on a mountain. No one has seen the birth of a mountain or the death of a mountain. No one has seen a mountain move. Sada Shiva is almighty and his power represents the stability stillness and mighty force of spiritual reality. Sadashiva's light is likened to a limitless pillar of fuelless fire that stretched up beyond the dome of the sky and down below the foundations of the earth. Sadashiva is Jyoti Bindu a point of luminous living light that is endless and infinite in its capacity to shine on creation. Sada Shiva is bodiless. Sada Shiva is Videhi. Sada Shiva does not have a body of his own. In the energy field of Baba's drill, absorb the abhyakt vibrations of elevated thoughts and pure feelings that he's filling in us, making us like he is, bodiless. Now let us feel the field of Baba's energy and let the heart and soul flourish in the experience of being bodiless Videhi. Let us experience Sada Shiva.
झूमती बहारी 
सलोना दिल चाहे उससे जुदा कब न होना इंतजार कर बैठना हिम्मत हार कर प्रभु का तू दीदार कर ले मेरे मना शिव बाबा को याद कर जी भर उसको प्यार कर सांसों को आबाद कर ले मेरे It's a very first day for global family of Baba's children Baba's that we all that are together sharing are this spiritual over a few months. We all will be together, together having similar similar practices similar. and creating and our stage stage like Baba. So we all so will we be all together with Baba. I think it's I something think wonderful. And I'm sure and I, that each one of each you will very actively and curate, curate, follow it. So as I mentioned, to begin with, there will be the thought of being consistent, consistent like Baba, because Baba because is one who is consistent in all the qualities. And when Baba, what Baba is, and then Baba as bestower, Baba is bestower of all wisdom, bestower of uh, all virtues, all powers, and makes us worthy, pure souls. So at Confluence Age, Baba adopted us souls as children, oh, yeah. children. We souls, eternal beings, are always, always children of Shri Baba. But at Confluence Age, Baba comes. And through Brahma Baba, he adopts all of us. And then we become Brahmins, we become pure. And then we become like a family. So one family, of course, is of souls as brothers. But this spiritual family is of brothers and sisters. I find that for me, 
thinking about God as my parents, as mother and father, Bab Dada together, and the spiritual life he has given us through understanding of spiritual knowledge is really a life, as Baba mentions, worth diamond. And how beautifully every morning, all the time, when Baba begins to talk to us, he always says, Mite, mite, bache, sweetest children. And I don't think anyone will, with so much love and belonging, would say, We are sweetest children. And uh, also, Baba always advises us that, children, you also have to be very sweet. And so this is the inculcation for us and remind ourselves that we have to be like Baba. We have to be very sweet. And I like when Baba uses word in Hindi is Shikilade. Shikilade in translation is used long lost and found children. And then Baba also says, beloved children, beloved children and jewels of, no, jewels of eyes. So Baba's love is really pouring naturally through the words, the way he gives us love remembrances or he starts speaking to us by saying us, sweetest children. So I think that the sustenance as parents, I would say to start with, to make us sweetest children so that we can claim our inheritance of purity, peace, happiness, and prosperity. Inheritance of purity is what we experience in this life. Purity of actions, purity of words, and purity of thoughts. So when we say return to the source, because Baba is actually one who is purifier. And he comes and makes us pure and teaches us the method and creates the love to remember him so that our sins are destroyed, our alloy is removed, and we souls become Satopradhan. This sustenance of becoming pure and Satopradhan can only be given by the source. And we have to always remember that we have to continue consistently to remember Baba so that soul can become completely pure and perfect. Baba is the one who is eternal source of love. Sustenance which Baba gives us is not only spiritual, but with spirituality, Baba creates something in us which creates the family, which is full of love. And also like today, Baba gave us this blessing of that we are the ancestor souls. So we are the family of ancestor souls. And also Baba said, come they know one who fulfills the desires of everyone. And for that, we have to ourselves be free from desires. So when it comes to return to the source, the first source really is in our lives is our parents. 
So looking at Baba, I always think that first lesson we learn from Baba is of course to take care of self, that means our stage. And second is relationships. I always think about the relationship between Brahma Baba and Shri Baba. They are together in the center of Fort Ed for a few hours or few times a day. And in that little space, even they both have different personalities, but how they stay in harmony, giving opportunity to each other to speak and how they align each other with that energy. So for us also, as we have aimed to be like Baba, our relationship with Shri Baba should also be like Brahma Baba's relationship with Shri Baba. I think really more you think about it, more you will find that how there was this pure love and there was total purity in relationships. And that's kind of relationships Baba teaches us to create. Parents always have love for children and they always, always have aimed to make children worthy. So Baba makes us praiseworthy. Baba makes us worship worthy. And for that, Baba has to play the part as supreme teacher. And it's a lovely, lovely relationship that uh, Baba as ocean of knowledge gives knowledge to us, understanding and wisdom. He speaks to us the truth. And I had been enjoying to use the third eye in sight to become aware of all aspects of time. Being at present and always, always constantly be in that present moment and then creating our future and fortune. So our source, this Baba has given is Baba's sweet versions morally. Any time, every time, then we have to look for direction. We have to feel very strong and courageous. Just take Murli and start reading Murli. And you will find that every time you read Murli, it has different meaning for each one of us. Because we connect to the Murli based on what is needed by the soul at that moment. So our source is Baba, and our source is Murli. Really every word which Baba speaks, one feels like reading again and again. Words definitely has limit. Sometimes we say it's repetition, but every time we read that same word has different meaning and it fulfills the spiritual need of the soul, gives answers to our social environment, and also helps us, guides us to have the life of peace and happiness. So Baba is Supreme Teacher, and Murli is our source. We have to constantly return to and then, of course, as in our lives, we need directions, we need a guide, so that every moment I can think of Baba 
as supreme guide as sat guru so that my power to discern comes from that wisdom which baba has given me because power to discern and then to decide is something very important in our lives every moment in life there is something that you always have to make right choice and this is where power of discern is necessary so i always feel baba's directions baba's teachings to use so that whatever i discern and decide is beneficial for the self and for others so return to the source actually is what baba says man manabha and this is not just what baba says and what i have heard but i really had been practicing lot that when you need clarity in your thoughts you really want to feel that is coming from your pure intent and pure attitude one has to remember baba and as soon as i remember baba the thought in the mind thought in the intellect is so pure and so clear and also so loud that it becomes very very easy to actually implement it and can see the results so i just shared few relationship but actually baba is our beloved baba is our friend and of course we can have all relationships with baba why i am bringing this aspect of relationship with baba because it's only at confluence age that we are able to have experience benefits power strength of all relationships with god we sing the praise but at confluence age it's a reality and because for attainment any kind of attainment you have to go to the source no so then going to the source as as baba and morley is very very important for our sustenance my heart really becomes full of god's love that how at confluence age baba is playing this part i like this word uh, consistent it requires lot of efforts but i think as baba wants us to be perfect i want all of us to really consistently be with the source today is mother's day in the united states and i had been remembering the word shiv shakti combined form so to be consistent sada shiv i think this word shiv shakti really helps us that i am with baba and baba is with me it's not only i am with baba but baba is also with me so that word shiv shakti had been coming in my mind so many times so that we constantly remain very very powerful so our homework is to underline word consistent and every time as i can give example that these days what is important is listening and patience listening is really really very important listening and then with patience and have patience so looking at baba and taking that quality from bab dada one is my own inculcation 
One is just look at Baba and observe that how much patience he has because he has knowledge of drama. Because he knows that every soul has to play one's own part. So he never, never loses patience. So to be consistent, take one virtue, look at Baba and start applying same as purity, especially purity of thoughts is very important at this time. Because pure thought has a lot of power. Even if there is little bit of adulteration in the thought, the power is lost. I had been thinking a lot about that, how our thoughts have to be completely pure. So purity of thoughts, also connecting with the seed, Shibhava, so that that purity comes where there is no adulteration. So you can take any virtue and look at Baba, think of Baba. And when you look at Baba and think of Baba, so that virtue becomes a godly virtue. In golden age, we will have divine virtues. And at confluence age, we have godly virtues. And godly virtue will have God's power in that also. It's a godly virtue and there is God's power. So we will be practicing this whole month and uh, concentrate. And uh, so I want all of us to be together every day <laughs> for so many months. And I know that it will be really, really very, very powerful so that we can help the world so that sorrows are removed and everyone returns to the land of peace. So everyone has to be liberated from sorrow and has to experience peace before the souls return. Om Shanti. Om Shanti, Divine Family. We are so, so sorry about the echo, but Sister Moini's uh, voice and her words really made up for all of our technical difficulties. Thank you so much, Sister Moini, for that beautiful sharing. I especially loved what you said about returning to the Murli as the source. Um, so this is how it's going to work. We will we have a few announcements to make, and then we would like Sister Moini to end with a meditation. So we'll make these announcements really quickly. As I was saying, and no one could hear me, so I'm going to re-say it. Um, we so this is the sustenance portion, the Brahm, Brahmin sustenance portion of return to the source. There is another portion, which is the outward facing and uh, announcements about that will come soon. And so in this particular one, we are especially focusing on returning to Baba as the one source. And to make that happen, we have several components. Um, on the second Sunday of every month, which we just had, would be a master class. And today's was, of course, Sister Moini. And next session, next one is the second Sunday in June. And that will be Sister Jayanti. And this will go on from May to December. And, um, and then seven days following the second Sunday of the month, we will have a meditation piece. And the meditation piece is about 10 to 12 minutes, and it is set within the context of Bab Dada's drills. And so the Bab Dada's drills intentionally haven't been um, translated because we felt that we wanted everyone to get the flavor and the subtle and the spiritual energy of Bab Dada while listening to the drill. And also we will have every week, one small question for reflection. And that question will be received once a week for, for, uh, for the whole month. And so though, and the, the, every month we will start the source 
there are eight sources and the first one is the one source and then seven other sources coming from the one source and each of them will have a written narrative describing the source and the written narrative really is for you to use it as a springboard so that you could um, write your own and the reason why we have so many components is we wanted to make sure that you use at least one because we understand that everyone takes sustenance differently and we wanted to give something for everyone so you don't have to use all of them but we hope that you use one and really return to the one source and have beautiful experiences and so we will have an online question and answer session also and that portion i'm going to leave it to helen to announce helen please do your announcements Hello, Shanti, everyone. And again, um, our apologies for the echo. We just wanted to make sure you heard everything three times. And so we were able to resolve that. One of the um, aspects that Shireen was mentioning is that everyone um, takes sustenance differently. And so we're so happy that the team has put together a variety of components. You can do one of them, two of them, all of them. We want you to know that we are here if there's anything that we can assist you in receiving the information about the program. If you are signed up for emails on the BK sustenance list, you will be receiving the emails regularly. If you look in your email box now, you will see a link for the meditation commentary that was played this morning on the webinar. You will be receiving the same email for the next seven days with another meditation commentary. Tonight, you will also receive an email that has a reflective comment for the week. So uh, something for you to contemplate, think about, just to keep you sustained for the week. The website has all the information. If it's not there yet, it will be there soon. There will be a forum that's available on the website. And there you could share your thoughts or share your experiences, ask any questions. The sustenance team, um, Sister Gayatri, Brother Marcelo, Sister Shireen, and Sister Luciana will be taking time to answer those questions or address whatever you may want to share there. If you have any questions about anything, you can reach us either through the website through email, sustenance at brahmakumaris.org, or you could send us a message on Facebook, whichever works for you. Please feel free that to ask any questions now through the questions section of the webinar. I'd be happy to address this before we close today. Back to you, Shreen. Om Shanti Moini Ben. We would like you to finish with the meditation commentary. Om Shanti. Reminding myself of my eternal existence, my eternal self, and creating this awareness that I am eternal being, immortal being, the being of light and being of might, of power. I am eternal being of love. I am eternal being of peace. In this awareness of my eternity, I connect with one who is eternal and also beyond, beyond limits, beyond the cycle of time. One who is the source 
unlimited and bestower. So now I connect my mind and intellect to have this union, to celebrate this beating of the soul with God, the Supreme Soul. God, the Supreme Soul, is unlimited like ocean. So now, I merge in God's love. God's love is pure. Is unconditional. God's love is consistent. It creates the security and the trust. Baba always, always loves me. I have to go and merge in this ocean of love. So that it's not only I become embodiment of God's love, but I am able to have this God's love and spiritual love for everyone. Baba loves everyone. I also have love for everyone. Sharing this God's love is truly serving the souls. So that they can also feel the presence of one who is ocean of love. We are instruments. We are his children. So as children, we have to glorify, or as Baba says, son shows father. So as I emerge in God's love, and feel that I'm completely detached My intellect and mind is totally merged in Baba's love, Baba's light. I will hold on to this spiritual love, God's love. not only for a day, but in my whole life. So that I can constantly be loving. And of course, detach like Baba. Om Shanti.
Now. 